Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Habate, a certified nutritionist. And let's talk about proper nutrition and how we can maintain a healthy lifestyle during this time of pandemic. As we all know, since this pandemic has started, all of us were forced to stay indoors and adjust to a new way of living. What we normally do in school or at work had to be done at home, as we had to social distance ourselves from others to avoid contracting or spreading the disease. Our country had to go through quarantine or a lockdown which restricted us from going outside unless it is necessary, which means we can't go outside or to some places where we do our daily activities like jogging, playing basketball, going to the gym, and many more. Even though we are forced to stay at home, it is important that we take care of our health, especially now as the disease spreading can easily get contracted by those with low immunity. Having a healthy body and mind now is like being shielded or protected, as it reduces the risk of getting deadly diseases. First step to stay healthy is to have a proper diet with a variety of food so that we be able to get all the nutrients that our body needs. Here is a picture of the food pyramid. As you can see, the food pyramid shows what a healthy diet consists of, how much food from each category we should consume to achieve a healthy balanced diet. Okay. So let's start from the top of the pyramid. We can see that this is the category of fats and oil. These foods are known to be unhealthy, but they are still important as some fats or oil contain essential nut nutrients. Examples of food that belong in this category are those that are high in salt or sugar treats. Yes, these foods may seem delicious, but if you are planning to eat these foods, please consider eating in moderation as too much of one thing is dangerous especially these kinds of foods. Following that, we need to supply our body with nutrients that can help with building and repairing muscle, skin, and tissues, which is protein. This nutrient not only repairs muscle cells and tissues, but it can also help reduce muscle loss and increase our body's mass and strength. Foods rich in protein are pork, fish, chicken, eggs, and more. We also need to supply our body with nutrients that can help with maintaining healthy bones and skin. As you can see next to the foods rich in protein are dairy products. Dairy products consist of milk, cheese, and more. Okay, so the next food group that we should eat consists of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are healthy as they are not only low in calories, but they are also the best source of vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, phosphorus, magnesium, and zinc. Even though you may not like the taste of some fruits or vegetables, I highly recommend that we consume these for our own health as they lower risk of heart disease, but it improves our health. And finally, at the bottom of our food pyramid are foods with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are our main source of energy. And as once they are consumed, it immediately has effects and provides energy for our brain, muscle, and cells. Foods that are rich in carbs are pasta, bread, potatoes, grains, and more. But as I have mentioned earlier, even though we need all of these nutrients, too much of one thing is bad for our health as it may cause health problems. As we are focusing on one nutrient too much instead of maintaining balance, maintaining a healthy diet is important and all, but as we eat, we should always remember to hydrate ourselves. I suggest that you drink at least eight cups of water daily. Drinking water is essential for our body because it helps with regulating body temperature, keeping joints lubricated, prevent infections, deliver nutrients to cells, and keep organs functioning properly. I highly recommend that you pair your healthy diet with some exercise. Exercise helps boost our strength, strengthens our bones, helps reduce stress, and lowers the risk of getting deadly diseases. These two combined will improve our life and will make us live longer. Even though we're stuck indoors, there are a few exercises you can do at home. First one is to boost our cardiovascular health. We may use a jump rope at home or we can do jumping jacks. Second can help develop our upper body and it is push-ups. And this last exercise can help improve your core strength. And it is to do some planks. Um, so, okay, so let's put aside the healthy diet and exercising. There's one more thing that we should not forget. We should always get enough sleep so that we can be at our best. 
A person should have 7 to 9 hours of sleep daily. How we live our daily lives depends on our sleep. If we had enough sleep, we would get benefits like having a stronger immune system, having a normal blood pressure, having the energy we need for the day, prevent us from gaining or losing weight without control, and we will start our days with a good mood. But if we sleep less than 7 hours a day, we may start to feel weaker and our immune system would weaken. So please, stop staying up all night if unnecessary and sleep early if you can. Oh, and there's one last thing to stay healthy. It is to stay clean. Even before this pandemic, we should stay clean to prevent the spread of germs and diseases. We should wash our hands with soap if possible. And if it is not possible to wash our hands, we can sanitize ourselves with some alcohol or some hand sanitizers. Also, to stay clean and healthy, we must take a bath daily. So, to stay healthy during this pandemic, we need to have a proper diet, we need to exercise, we need to get enough sleep, and we have to stay clean. That is all for this video, and I hope you learned something.